Hello guys, today I'm going to watch Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secret. I don't know what to expect from this part, because in the first part they ended uh, first year in the Hogwarts, and uh, I think that now it will be second year in the Hogwarts. That means that Harry Potter, Ron and uh, Hermione are still uh, children, and uh, I think it will be the same film as first part, like uh, family and friendly movie. This is a short version of my reaction and I have a Patreon where you can see my full reaction. Let's go! This is the book uh, that uh, gave Hagrid in the first part. I'm warning you. If you again, don't control, again, <laughs> this family. I haven't had any messages from any of my friends. Not one. Who'd want to be friends with you? Everyone, everyone in Hogwarts. <laughs> now, let's go over our schedule once again, shall we? Petunia, when the Masons arrive, you will be... In the lounge. And, and Dudley, you will be... I'll be waiting to open the door. <laughs> Excellent. And you? I'll be in my bedroom, making no noise and pretending that I don't exist. They are shine of Harry. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Dobby, sir. Dobby the house elf. This isn't a great time for me to have a house elf in my bedroom. Oh, oh yes, sir. Uh, why don't you sit down? Sit down. Sit, sit down. <laughs> Dobby, <laughs> shush, I'm sorry. Dobby is so dirty and poor. Dobby has heard of your greatness, sir, but never has he been asked to sit down by a wizard. That was an awful thing to say. <laughs> Dobby! Stop, Dobby! <laughs> Stop, <laughs> Dobby, oh my god. Oh, don't mind that, it's just the cat. Stop, Dobby. Dobby had to punish himself, sir. Why? Why? He don't uh, need to do this. Harry Potter must not go back to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry this year. A plot to make most terrible things happen. Who's plotting them? Oh, he can't. Say, oh my god. Problems. Get in there and keep quiet. What the devil are you doing up here? You just ruined the punchline of my Japanese golf job. <laughs> Sorry. Oh no. One more sound and you wish you'd never been born, boy. And what? He killed Harry or what? I belong in your world, a Hogwarts. It's the only place I've got friends. Friends who don't even write to Harry Potter? How do you know my friends haven't been writing to me? Harry Potter mustn't be angry with Dobby. If Harry Potter thought his friends had forgotten him, Harry Potter might not want to go back to school. Give me those. Now. <laughs> Problems. I don't like this cake. So strange and not tasty. Harry Potter must say he's not going back to school. Hogwarts is my home. Dobby must do it, sir. For Harry Potter's own good. Uh, and the second plumber said yes, and that's just the top of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so sorry, so sorry for that. Like in prison. You're never going back to that school. You're never gonna see those freaky friends of yours again. Never! But why? If Harry go to school, he would not live in his house. And uh, it will be okay. Maybe it's Harry? Ah, okay. It's Ron. Hiya, Harry. What are you all doing here? Rescuing you, of course. Get a trunk. Better stand back. <laughs> oh my god. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh. Let go of me. Oh no. You and that bloody pigeon. Now he's dead. Ah, no. Okay, you're right. 
strange guy. He don't like when Harry at his home. And he don't like when uh, Harry go away. He don't like everything. Everyone loves Bats, Harry. Um, you could have died. You could have been seen. Of course, I don't blame you, Harry. Um, mommy, have you Big seen family. Jumper? Ron have uh, two brothers and one sister. Uh. She's scared of him or what? Jenny, she's been talking about your summer. Morning, Weasleys. Morning, <laughs> And who are you? He don't know Harry. Everyone knows Harry. Are you really? Well, Ron's talking Okay, to okay, he knows him. Your sons flew that enchanted car of yours to Surrey and back last night. How'd it go? Oh, oh, did you ever... I mean... Well, that could be error with the post. <laughs> oh, look, it's our Hogwarts letters. This lot won't come cheap, Mum. The spell books alone are very expensive. Books for uh, second year? Of studying in Hogwarts. Harry's ever travelled by flu powder before, Mum. You go first, John, so that Harry can see how it's done. Diagon Alley. <laughs> He's okay. It's quite easy, dear. Don't be afraid. Come on. <laughs> Don't be afraid. It's uh, only on. fire. Diagon Alley. What he said? Diagon Alley. Where is he? Is it uh, diagonally or what? <laughs> Strange place. All guys uh, wearing black and looking so strange. Where is he? It's some uh, ghetto, I think. No. Please. Harry! Hagrid! What do you think you're doing down here? What were you doing down there then? I was looking for a flesh eating slugger palette. Harry! Hagrid! Hello, Hermione! We can see, like, uh, Harry become older from uh, first part, but Hagrid <laughs> is still uh, the same as in the first part. Mr. Gilroy, lock. <gasps> Who is it? Some showman? It can't be Harry Potter. And he also know Harry, Harry because Potter. everyone knows Harry. Ladies and gentlemen, what an extraordinary moment! Harry this looks is. so confused. When young Harry purchased my autobiography, Magical Me, atop the Daily Profit bestseller list, entire collected works, free of charge. Yeah. Some books from... from who? <laughs> Famous Harry Potter. Can't even go into a bookshop without making the front page. Leave him alone. Oh look, Potter. You've got yourself a girlfriend. <laughs> Mr. Potter. He looks like uh, Snape, but with uh, white uh, hair. Your scar is legend. As of course is the wizard who gave it to you. Voldemort killed my parents. He was nothing more than a murderer. You must be very brave. Mention his name. You must be Miss Granger. Drake has told me all about you and your parents. Muggles. Children, it's a man in here. Let's go outside. Where, where, where? Where's Lucy now? I don't understand anything now. <laughs> he said uh, strange things. It's the name of Wizard Malfoy. Clearly. Ah, Malfoy. He dead of uh, young Malfoy. I thought your family could sink no lower. I'll see you at work. He's a boss of uh, father of Harry or oh, Ron. I don't understand. Sorry, sorry, guys. <laughs> now it's not scary because it's not at the first time. But why? <laughs> oh. For all people, it is a very strange situation. Like uh, they go through wall and uh, break down. 
Maybe we should just go and wait by the car. <laughs> we need to find the train. Now all we need to do is catch up with the train. We can't be far behind. I thought they go on the car uh, to Hogwarts. Why they need train? Now he said. I think we found the train. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. They go on the car to Cockpit. Welcome home. Welcome home. I said uh, in previous part that uh, Hogwarts is the home of uh, Harry Potter. Poor car. Is it car of his father? <laughs> father will don't like it. Look at my wand. He broke his. I don't know. Oh. And after all that actions, <laughs> run like, hello, Dad. That's your car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And car de destroys. Scabbers, the car. How car is still driving <laughs> after <laughs> all that journey? That's gonna kill me. Yeah, father will kill him. Oh, still this guy, strange, Take strange guy blocks. from first part. I still don't know uh, who mm. is his professor or. You were seen. By no less than seven muggles. Do you Snake. have any? You have risked the exposure of our world. The both of you would be on the train home tonight. They are not. <laughs> Professor Dumbledore. These boys have flouted the decree for the restriction of underage wizardry. I am well aware of our bylaws, Severus, having written quite a few of them myself. <laughs> It is for Professor McGonagall to determine the appropriate action. Okay, Professor McGonagall is the head Not of today, Gryffindor, Mr. yes? Weasley. Because uh, I thought that Dumbledore is the head of Gryffindor. That done. means that Dumbledore I is the head to of uh, all tonight. Hogwarts. I thought uh, that uh, he's uh, at one moment uh, head of Hogwarts and the head of uh, Gryffindor. Welcome to Greenhouse Three Second Years. Now gather round, everyone. Yes, Miss Granger. Mandrake or Mandragora is used to return those who've been petrified. It's also quite dangerous. The Mandrake's cry is fatal to anyone who hears it. Excellent. Ten points to Gryffindor. <laughs> the seedlings, their cries won't kill you yet. Malfoy well, like, oh, oh no, ten points uh, to Gryffindor. Oh. Protection. You pull it sharply out of the box. Oh. And pour a little... He don't like this action. <laughs> it's not for the first time. Just leave him there. Right, on we go. Ah, okay. Plenty of pots to go around. Really? Pull it up. <laughs> oh. He need a new stick. Ron, is that your owl? Look, everyone. Weasley's got himself a howler. Ronald Weasley! How dare you steal <laughs> that car? I am absolutely disgusted! <laughs> he stealed his car, okay. I thought that that gave him, but not steal. <laughs> Let me introduce you to your new defense against the dark arts. Ah. It is uh, that guy from Gilderoy uh, Lockhart, five times winner of which weekly's most charming smile award. I didn't get rid of the band and banshee by smiling at them. <laughs> now, 
girls liked him, but uh, job <laughs> boys sitting like. Oh. You may find yourselves facing your worst fears in this room. I must ask you not to scream. It might provoke them. <laughs> Small and uh, blue versions uh, of Dobby. See what you make of them. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> want to bull <laughs> this guy. I don't know why. He's cute. <laughs> it uh, was a bad idea <laughs> to. Bring them away. I'll ask you three to just nip the rest of them back into their cage. <laughs> and I'm <laughs> running away. Why is it always me? <laughs> really? I, Professor Severus Snape, do hereby give the Slytherin team permission to practice today, owing to the need to train their new seeker. That's right. And that's not all that's new this year. I think that Malfoy uh, don't like that everyone loves Harry and everyone uh, go like uh, Oh my god, it's Harry, it's Harry, let's photo you and Malfoy wants uh, him like Harry No one asked your opinion, you filthy little mudblood She'll pay for that one, Malfoy Eat slugs! <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> no, Colin, get out of the way. Let's take him to Hagrid. <laughs> Hell no, what to do. How much? <laughs> there in uh, his mouth. Nothing to do but wait till it stops, I'm afraid. Still, oh, still. Uh, he called Hermione. Um, well, I, do, I don't know exactly what it means. He called me a mudblood. It means dirty blood. Mudblood's a really foul name for someone who is muggle born, someone with non magic parents. Parents of Hermione are people in the world, not in uh, magic world. How do they know about uh, Hogwarts? Don't you think on it, Hermione. Don't you think on it for one minute. Fame is a fickle friend, Harry. Celebrity is as celebrity does. He likes himself. It's good, but not uh, like he's doing it. Sorry? That voice. Voice? Didn't you hear it? What are you talking about, Harry? I think we're getting a bit uh, drowsy. Scary, <laughs> <laughs> scary things. Harry! Did you hear it? Hey, what? Only Harry uh, hearing this sound. I think it's going to kill. Kill? Harry, wait! I've never seen spiders act like that. I don't like spiders. <laughs> I too. The Chamber of Secrets has been opened. Blood. Enemies of the air, beware. It's Vulture's cat. It's Mrs. Norris. Oh my god! In first part, I said that uh, I think uh, that it is a uh, person, not cat. Like uh, Professor McGonagall can... Uh, Transformated to cat, and this cat I think is uh, the same. But now, enemies of the air, beware! He, he's dead. You'll be next, mudbloods. Oh no! Oh. Mrs. Norris. Mrs. Norris, like a uh, real person, not like cat. I'll kill you. I'll kill you, everyone. We'll proceed to the dormitories immediately. Everyone except you three. <laughs> when someone uh, wants to hurt Gary, Dumbledore is going and uh, save him. But how she's been petrified, I cannot say. Ask him. You saw what he wrote on the wall. I never touched Mrs. Norris. Perhaps Potter and his friends were simply in the wrong place at the wrong time. However, the circumstances are suspicious. I, for one, don't recall. They really think that uh, Harry and his friends killed Cat and do some with blood. Oh, Typical uh, thing that we doing Harry when he said... and Ron and Hermione. When I said I wasn't hungry. 
We were heading back to the common room when we found Mrs. Norris. Innocent until proven guilty, Severus. Madame Sprout is a very healthy growth of mandrake. And mature, a portion will be made which will revive Mrs. Norris. Cat must uh, leave. Everyone must leave. It's fact. You hear this voice. A voice only you can hear. And then Mrs. Norris turns up petrified. Even in the wizarding world, hearing voices isn't a good sign. Ferraverto. <laughs> Who would like to go first? Oh, Mr. Weasley. <laughs> One, two, three. Ferraverto. I was wondering if you could tell us about the Chamber of Secrets. The Hogwarts was founded over a thousand years ago by the four greatest witches and wizards, Godric Gryffindor, Helga Hufflepuff, Rowena Ravenclaw, and Salazar Slytherin. The three of the founders coexisted quite harmoniously. One did not. Salazar Slytherin wished to be more selective about the students. He believed magical learning should be kept within all magic families. In other words, pure bloods. He decided to leave the school. Slytherin had built a hidden chamber in this castle known as the Chamber of Secrets. He sealed it until that time when his own true heir returned to the school. The heir alone would be able to open the chamber and unleash the horror within. Purge the school of all those who, in Slytherin's view, were unworthy to study magic. Muggleborn. I don't understand why some of them hate uh, muggles because uh, Hermione is a muggle, but he's studying better than everyone in this room. It means that uh, it's no problem that she's a muggle. Like Malfoy, as I understand, is a, is a true blood, yes. but uh, he's studying uh, not like Hermione. Hermione is uh, much more better. The heir of Sidon has returned to Hogwarts. The question is, who is it? Who do we know who thinks all Muggleborns are scum? If you're talking about Malfoy... Of course! You'll be next, Mudbloods. I heard him, but Malfoy, the heir of Slytherin... Look at his family. The whole lot of them have been in Slytherin for centuries. Crab and Goyle must know. Maybe we could trick them into telling. It would be difficult. Not to mention we'd be breaking about 50 school rules. And it'll be dangerous. The Polyjuice Potion allows the drinker to transform himself temporarily into the physical form of another. We'll turn into Crab and Goyle? Yes. I've never seen a more complicated potion. Well, how long will it take to make? A month. If Malfoy is the heir of Slytherin, he could attack half the Muggleborns in the school by then. But it's the only plan we've got. <laughs> Always Gryffindor uh, and Slytherin. What this go ahead? Won't look out. Harry's got himself a rogue bludger. That's been tampered with, that has. I'll oh, stop it. No, you can hit Harry. Malfoy always happy when Harry had some problems. Dirty, dirty game from Malfoy. I think stadium now can be destroyed. Lucky guy. Oh, <laughs> his legs like... So hard game for Harry. Gryffindor win! 150 points to Gryffindor. Benito, incantato! I think my arm's broken. Not to worry, Harry. Oh. I will fix that arm of yours straight away. No. Not you. Oh, boy, <laughs> really? Emendo! <laughs> Oh my god. Very clearly the bones are not broken. Bro yeah, it's all right. Oh, Mr. Malfoy, stop making such a fuss. You can go. Out of my way. Out of my way. Should have been brought straight to me. So many people well, uh, around Harry and only two guys around Malfoy. Hello. <laughs> Harry, 
Harry Potter should have gotten back home when he missed the train. You stopped the barrier from letting Ron and me through. You nearly got Ron and me expelled. Harry Potter must go home. Dobby had to iron his hands. I don't understand, Dobby good or not? He looks like very, very good, but thinks that he's doing not good. Dobby remembers how it was before Harry Potter triumphed over he who must not be named. Dobby is still treated like vermin. <laughs> oh. Why do you wear that thing, Dobby? It is a mark of the house elves' enslavement. Dobby can only be freed if his master presents him with clothes. Now that history is to repeat itself. You mean this has happened before? <gasps> I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> like Hagrid, in first part. <laughs> oh, again. Tell me, who is it? <laughs> again. There's been another attack. Oh. What can this mean, Hal? That our students are in great danger. The Chamber of Secrets has indeed been opened again. You mean the Chamber of Secrets has been opened before? Lucius Malfoy must have opened it when he was at school here. And now he's told Draco how to do it. Who's Moaning Myrtle? I'm Moaning Myrtle. He looks like sister of Harry Potter. <laughs> She's a little sensitive. Professor Dumbledore has granted me permission to start this little dueling club. Let me introduce my assistant, Professor Snape. Expelliarmus. But this guy don't say anything. Perhaps it would be prudent to first teach the students to block unfriendly spells, Professor. An excellent suggestion, Professor Snape. Let's have a volunteer pair. Potter, Weasley, how about you? Oh, Weasley's Potter, one Weasley. causes devastation. Always. Might I suggest someone from my own house? Malfoy, perhaps? <laughs> <laughs> Cast your charms to disarm your opponent. Only to disarm. One. Two. Inverted statue! But uh, only was one and two. Dirty game from Malfa again. Rick the Sempra! <laughs> oh. Seven sort here! Sayahasa Ivanaska. What are you playing at? No one understands uh, what uh, happened. You can talk to snakes. I know. I bet loads of people here can do it. No, they can't. I heard you speaking parcel tongue. Snake language? I spoke a different language. Harry didn't uh, remember it. Salazar Slytherin was a parcel mouth. He could talk to snakes too. Harry dropped uh, his reputation because of this case. Now everyone knows like, oh my god, it's Harry, let me fought you. Now everyone like... Voices always like blood, kill, kill some, some uh, thematic <laughs> voices. Caught in the act. I'll have you out this time, Potter. And again, uh, he think that Harry do these things. And now she will Professor. think that it's really Harry. This is out of my hands, Potter. Everyone now Harry is a really strange guy that uh, spoke to the snakes every time from the some actions. That's now cool. everyone really thinks that uh, Harry killed cat of this guy and doing all these things. But it was not he. Pictures are sleeping and uh, do some. S <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, head. From uh, first part. In your bonnet, Potter. I was I was just wondering if you put me in the right house. You were particularly difficult to place but i stand by what i said you would have done well in slytherin you're wrong 
He just caught fire. Oh, and about time to they burst into flame when it is time for them to die. It was and all things reborn from the ashes. Oh. Uh, they can carry <laughs> immensely heavy loads. And cool sound. It wasn't Harry. Hagrid. In fact, I'd be prepared to swear it in front of the Ministry of Magic. Hagrid! Relax. I do not believe that Harry attacked anyone. You don't think it was me, Professor? No, Harry. I do not think it was you. Is there something you wish to tell me? About sounds in his head, maybe. Or about uh, speaking to the snakes. Nothing. But why? I think he can uh, speak this to Dumbledore. Dumbledore can uh, do some advice. Everything's set. We just need a bit of who you're changing into. Crab and Goyle. We also need to make sure that the real Crab and Goyle can't burst in on us while we're interrogating Malfoy. I fill these with a simple sleeping draft. Make sure that Crab and Goyle find these. I want these muffins. They're so cool. Wingardium Leviosa. <laughs> <laughs> there are so many foods in their hands and then they like oh <laughs> another one food let's go <laughs> yeah <laughs> nothing strange <laughs> cheers something happening <laughs> okay. We still sound like ourselves. <laughs> Their voices, like uh, okay, uh, is still. Where's Hermione? I, I don't think I'm going. Hermione, are you okay? Just go. But uh, Hermione is transformed to who? Crab, Boyle, where have you two been? Why are you wearing glasses? Ah, uh, um, reading. Reading. <laughs> oh, reading. Oh, oh, reading. You'd never know the Weezys were pure bloods, the way they behave. They're an embarrassment to the wizarding world, all of them. What's wrong with you, Crab? Father always said that Dumbledore was the worst thing that ever happened to this place. You're wrong. Dumbledore is cool. Why Malfoy don't like Dumbledore? Because Dumbledore like Gryffindor. Saint Potter. <laughs> Pot and people at. Is this yours? <laughs> okay. It's not yours and it means that it's mine. The last time the Chamber of Secrets was opened, a mudblood died. So it's only a matter of time before one of them is killed this time. I hope it's Granger. What's the matter with you two? He really wants uh, her to die. And uh, what uh, after that? He will happy. Like... Uh, yeah, her man is dead. Now, my life is good. <laughs> they transformed it back. Hermione, come out, we've got loads to tell you. Go away! But the apologies potion was only for human transformations. It was cat hair I plucked off Millicent Bulstrobe's robes. Oh. <laughs> my face. <laughs> okay. Yuck! Oh. Looks like morning myrtles flooded the bathroom. Let's all throw books at Myrtle because she can't feel it. Ten points if you get it through her stomach. Fifty points if it goes through her head. But who threw it at you anyway? I don't know. I didn't see them. I was just sitting in the yew bend thinking about death. I don't like, I don't like uh, some things like that. Can you tell me something? Can you
Riddle. Who's Tom Riddle? Dumbledore. Dumbledore. I had to see for myself if the rumors were true. I'm afraid they are, Tom. They are true. Is there something you wish to tell me? <laughs> no, sir. Like he said to Harry, and answer like Harry answered. Evening, Hagrid. I don't think you meant it to kill anyone, but you can't. You don't understand. Hagrid uh, don't has hair on his face. Aragog never killed no one. Never. Now stand aside. No. Stand aside, Hagrid. No. <laughs> Harry need to go to Hagrid and uh, speak with him. It was Hagrid. Hagrid opened the Chamber of Secrets 50 years ago. Hagrid's our friend. Why don't we just go and ask him about it? Hello, Hagrid. Tell us, have you been setting anything mad and hairy loose in the castle lately? Mad and hairy? You wouldn't be talking about again. Speak to Hagrid. You three had best be looking after yourselves. All right. Hello, Neville. <laughs> no. <laughs> Harry, I don't know who did it, but you better come. Oh, it's his room. They must have been looking for something. Tom Riddle's diary is gone. Oh, oh my God. Strange things happening. All students will return to their house common rooms by six o'clock every evening. All students will be escorted to each lesson by a teacher. Unless the culprit behind these attacks is caught. It is likely the school will be closed. Hello? Oh, nothing I, I was expecting. Uh, it doesn't matter. Come on in. Just made a bad attack. She was uh, expecting who with uh, this thing. Are you okay? Do you know who's opened the Chamber of Secrets? What do you have to understand about that is... <laughs> Good evening, Hagrid. I wonder, could we? Of course, can we? Minister of Magic. Hagrid has my full confidence. Hagrid's record is against him. I've got to take him. Take me where? Not Azkaban prison. I'm afraid we have no choice, Hagrid. Already oh. here, Fudge. I simply called up the school and was told the headmaster was here. The other governors and I have decided it's time for you to step aside. This is an order of suspension. Oh, and who became the new head of Hogwarts? I'm afraid we feel you've rather lost your touch. There'll be no Muggleborns left at Hogwarts. I think Dumbledore is the smartest person in this film. He can't lose his touch. If the governors desire my removal, I will, of course, step aside. Oh my God. You will find that help will always be given at Hogwarts to those who ask. Dumbledore is seeing them or what? Really? He saw them? But how? If anybody was looking for some stuff, then all they'd have to do would be to follow the spiders. This is advice for Harry and Ron. And this is the answer for their question. I said that Hagrid is Boy. a good guy. <laughs> Doc, like, <laughs> what is happening? Uh, I only want to sleep, I don't want to go <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> Spiders, why can't we follow the butterflies? Because it's dark forest, and the dark forest is a house of spiders, not house of butterflies. A lot of, a lot of spiders, oh my god. Everywhere. You know, at the house of Hagrid, they were on one stripe, but now <laughs> they're everywhere. And Ron is really scary. Who is it? Don't panic. Hagrid. We're friends of Hagrid. Oh, the father of all these spiders. Oh my god. <laughs> Hagrid has never sent men into a hollow before. He's in trouble. They think it's Hagrid. They think he opened the Chamber of Secrets. That's a lie. Hagrid never opened the Chamber of Secrets. The monster was born in the castle. 
I came to Hagrid from a distant land. But if you're not the monster, then, then what did kill that girl 50 years ago? We do not speak of it. Harry! What? <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> okay, well, thank you. Go. Goodbye. <laughs> He's not friendly? I thought he's friendly. But I cannot deny them fresh meat when it wanders so willingly. Oh. It's goodbye, friend of Hagrid. Oh my god. But Hagrid knew about that uh, the, uh, this spider is not friendly to anyone uh, except uh, Hagrid. Poor car, poor car, again. Aronia, activate. Ron has arachnophobia and uh, they only scare of spiders, but now spiders want to kill them and... Uh, <laughs> poor Ron, poor Ron. Like he scare them when only he looks at them. But now <laughs> they not only go and they want to kill them. How car is still alive? <laughs> Follow the spiders! Follow the spiders! If Hagrid ever gets out Bad advice. Of I'll kill him. Bad advice. Okay, they know some information. But uh, spiders uh, want them to die. Hagrid is saying the wrong thing to call them in Dark Force. We know one thing. Hagrid never opened the Chamber of Secrets. We need you. Now more than ever. This is why Hermione was in the library the day she was attacked. Come on. The monster in the Chamber of Secrets is a basilisk. That's why I can hear it speak. It's a snake. But if it kills by looking people in the eye, why is it no one's dead? Because no one did look it in the eye. Spiders flee before it. It all fits. Hermione's answered that too. Pipes? About that girl 50 years ago. She died in a bathroom. What if she never left? I'm afraid this is the end of Hogwarts. So sorry, dozed off. What have I missed? The girl has been snatched by the monster lockout. Your moment has come at last. Weren't you saying just last night that you've known all along where the entrance to the Chamber of Secrets is? The Snape don't like this guy. Like uh, any boys. Very well. Uh, I'll just be in my office getting... Um, getting ready. Who is it that the monster's taken, Minerva? Ginny Weasley. And the game, Vlad. We have some information for you. <laughs> Are you going somewhere? Uh, Run oh, away. Yes. Um, urgent call. You're running away? After all that stuff you did in your books? Books can be misleading. My books wouldn't have sold half as well if people didn't think I'd done all those things. Ah, oh, I understand. I understand. I'm uh, going to have to do the same to you. <laughs> Don't even think how you died. It happened right here in this very cubic. I heard somebody come in. Who was it, Myrtle? I don't know. I just remember seeing a pair of great big yellow eyes mm. over there by that. Vasilisk. Oh, <laughs> okay. There's no need for me to stay. <laughs> oh, yes, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he is always like this. You first. It's not cool. He always uh, said about himself, like, I, 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 and now he's uh, scaring of uh, two little guys. Uh, like in uh, Aqua Park. Oh no! <laughs> okay. Heart of a lion, this one. <laughs> the adventure ends. He's so happy. <laughs> The world will know our story, how I was too late to save the girl. You first, Mr. Potter. Mm. Say goodbye to your memories. Like Ron when he went to against Malfoy and hurt himself. Hello. 
Who are you? Who, who am I? He's lying? Do you live here? No. Really? You wait here and try and shift some of this rock so we can get back through. I'll go on and find Ginny. Mm. Castle of Snake. It looked like uh, something waiting of her. She won't wake. She's still alive. But only just. Are you a ghost? A memory. Preserved in a diary for 50 years. God, he's not nice. real, yes? Please oh, no. don't be dead. Wake oh, up. he's real. You've got to no, he's me. real. Give me my wand, Tom. Listen, we've got to go. We've got to save her. I'm afraid I can't do that, Harry. You see, as poor Ginny grows weaker, I grow stronger. It was Ginny Weasley who opened the Chamber of Secrets. It was Ginny who set the basilisk on the mudbloods and Filch's cat. Ginny who wrote the threatening messages on the walls. Why? Not that she knew what she was doing. She was, shall we say, in a kind of trance. Hmm, okay, okay. The power of the diary began to scare her, and she tried to dispose of it in the girl's bathroom. And then, who should find it? But why did you want to meet me? I knew I had to talk to you. So I decided to show you my capture of that brainless oaf, Hagrid, to gain your trust. Hagrid's my friend! Only Dumbledore seemed to think he was innocent. But Dumbledore saw right through you. He certainly kept an annoyingly close watch on me after that. So I decided to leave behind a diary, preserving my 16-year-old self in its pages so that one day, killing mudbloods doesn't matter to me anymore. New target has been you. But why? That a baby with no extraordinary magical talent was able to defeat the greatest wizard of all time. Voldemort was after your time. Voldemort is my past, present, and future. Ah! Okay, he is Voldemort, but uh, he don't look like Voldemort. Would one day fear to speak when I became the greatest sorcerer in the world? Albus Dumbledore is the greatest sorcerer in the world. Fox. Thanks. Let's match the power of Lord Voldemort, heir of Salazar Slytherin, against the famous Harry Potter. Sai Hephes. Oh. oh. No! Your bird may have blinded the basilisk, but it can still hear you. Big brain. Yes, Potter. The process is nearly complete. In a few minutes, Ginny Weasley will be dead. And I will cease to be a memory. Okay, okay. He is only a memory, but he's real. How it works? Very big uh, snake and very small. He can't do nothing. Okay. Teeth? Teeth of the snake? Okay, he really win. How quickly the venom of the basilisk penetrates the body. Oh. You'll be with your dear mudblood mother soon, Harry. What are you doing? Stop! No! Ah, oh, big brain, big brain. Again, like uh, at the first part, Gary win won the mode. Again, in the se second part, Harry win. It was me, but I swear, I didn't mean to. Harry, you Poison, hurt. poison, or don't the snake. Worry. Why don't worry? Riddle say that uh, one minute and Gary will dead. 
You were brilliant, folks. I just wasn't quick enough. Oh my god, I, I'm going to cry. <laughs> I don't know why. Phoenix tears have healing powers. Phoenix saved Harry. It's all right, Lenny. Now it's really it's all right. But in the past few hours, you have broken perhaps a dozen <laughs> school rules. It's like in the first part. There are sufficient other uh, same plots. expelled. Yes, sir. yes, sir. You both receive special awards for services to the school. And now, Mr. Weasley, if you would. Have an owl deliver these release papers to Azkaban. I believe we we want our gamekeeper back. Hagrid. First, I want to thank you, Harry. Second, I sense that something is troubling you. You can speak parcel tongue, Harry. Why? He don't know. Because Answer. Lord Voldemort can speak parcel tongue. He transferred some of his powers to you. The night he gave you that scar. Oh. So the sorting hat was right. I should be in Slytherin. It's true, Harry. Determination, resourcefulness, and if I may say so, a certain disregard for the rules. <laughs> Why then did the sorting hat place you in Gryffindor? Because I asked it to. Exactly, Harry. It is not our abilities that show what we truly are. It is our choices. Yeah, they all want to Slytherin, but Harry always wants to Gryffindor, like Ron and Hermione, and that's why he is uh, on Gryffindor. Godric Gryffindor. It would take a true Gryffindor to pull that out of the hat. Dobby. So this is your master. Ah, <laughs> okay, I understand now why Dobby is like that. Because the uh, boss of Dobby is that guy. You have returned. When the governors learned that Arthur Weasley's daughter was taken into the chamber, they saw fit to summon me back. The culprit has been identified, I presume? Oh, yes. Who was it? Voldemort. Mr. Potter will always be around to save the day. Don't worry. I will be. Come, Dobby. We're leaving. <laughs> oh my god. Is it okay that uh, some uh, guy like that, uh, he's working uh, in the ministry, likes Voldemort? He don't say that he likes Voldemort, but uh, I can understand that. Mind? I don't know what you're talking about. I think you slipped the diary into Ginny Weasley's cauldron that day at Diagon Alley. Why don't you prove it? Bad guy. Open it. Dobby? Master has given Dobby a shock. Master has presented Dobby with clothes. Ah, Dobby, Dobby is now is free. free. Okay, <laughs> happy end. Happy ending. You lost me, my servant. And what? He killed Harry. He really want to kill Harry. Like guy from Ministry want to kill student. In the school. If someone knows about that, he lost his job. How it works? Never try to save my life again. <laughs> and uh, don't hurt yourself. Good to see you, Sir Nicholas. Thank you. Ah, he's alive. Uh, okay. <laughs> if uh, I can say that. Hermione, welcome back. Hermione, Thanks, he's Sir alive. Nicholas. It's good. Oh. What's problem? <laughs> Let us have a round of applause for Professor Sprout, Madam Pomfrey, successfully administered to all who had been petrified. All exams <laughs> have been cancelled. 
Your mind is sad. Oh, no, exams. It's the worst day of her life. And Hagrid, Hagrid is back. Sorry I'm late. I'd just like to say that if it hadn't been for you, Harry, and Ron, and Hermione, of course. There's no Hogwarts without you, Hagrid. It's true, it's true. Oh, oh. <laughs> Everyone loves Hagrid, except Malfoy and his friends. <laughs> okay, that was really a great ending. Uh, I like that uh, more than first part because uh, of ending when Hagrid is back and everybody's go <laughs> except uh, Malfoy. Uh, but uh, I don't uh, understand some things in uh, plot like uh, Voldemort uh, riddle. It is a dream of Voldemort and, and how if he is dream how he can uh, bring the stick and uh, doing some things i don't understand this or it was only dream because uh, as i understand it was uh Voldemort, uh when he was young and uh, this was dream from uh, this book but uh, i really don't understand how he can bring a stick of harry and also i can say it second time that that guy uh, father of malfoy he walking in the ministry and how he can Walking in the ministry and doing some things like he's doing. He uh, want to kill Harry, want to kill <laughs> good guys, and he likes Voldemort. Why he is in the ministry? Everybody in the ministry like him, or uh, he's only one. And uh, if he's only one, then why he has this job? I don't understand this. So you can subscribe my channel, do some, and uh, I have a Patreon where you can see my full reactions. If you like it, you can go to Patreon. <laughs> uh, bye bye. Have a nice day.